back to my channel. I'm Caitlin and I'm here with my friend Cheyenne and today we're going to be giving you guys a jewelry tutorial. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to make this video and I've been waiting for her because she taught me how to do it and I've just been waiting for her so we could kind of do this little video and we're going to show you guys how to make one kind of like this, like this simple also going to link down below her website where she sells them and she also sells little resin little keychains and cute little things so you guys can go look in the description box so yeah let's get into this video so here are the supplies you're going to need these pliers i'll link everything down below in the description box and some wire any gauge would work as long as you don't get 22 gauge it might be too thick and then pick your crystal you'd want so we're going to wrap this one first and then you can use any shape you want and you also want to get the string that will be the necklace part so you're going to start by taking the wire any gauge you'd like i think we're using 20 gauge um you're going to wrap it around the pliers and make it into a little circle so just keep doing that and make it tight i would wrap it around about three or four times to make like three little circle thingies and then you're going to tighten it because this is going to be the part that the string goes through on the necklace and you want it to be tight so it doesn't fall apart and your crystal falls off. So then you're going to pick a side that you want the crystal. You're going to pick what side you want to be the front. You're going to put it on the back, put the wire on the back and then see about where it goes halfway and it goes about halfway right there. So you're going to bend it a little bit so you know. And then you will put the crystal just like that against it so that you could have it in the back so there's more support. And then you're going to just start wrapping in a circle upward for this one, of course. You could do this with any shape, I'm pretty sure. And you're just going to, when you're wrapping it around, push hard with your finger around the crystal so that the wire is close to it and very tight. This is just so your crystal doesn't fall off and fall out of the wire. And you're going to do this all the way up and just keep pushing hard on it. And you're just going to do this all the way around. You could do this in any shape. You're just going to want to keep pushing hard and make sure everything works out. So once you get closer to the top, you're going to keep going tight around and you're going to see how far you could go. And then so the little thing at the end when you can't wrap it around all the way anymore, you're going to try and get that little piece and connect it to the top wire and just wrap it around there and try to just make sure that it stays and you could try and put it in the little circle thingy so that it stays or you could just wrap it around tight push it in there this is so this is like the security of the wire and where it's the easiest to fall apart now because that's the end so you're gonna just want to put it somewhere safe and make sure it's tight somewhere sometimes I wrap it in a wire like little thingy and I'll like in the wires I'll put it in there and kind of intertwine it make it not but you could also just put it up there and make sure it stays there tight with the pliers. There it is, all done. That's a very simple way to do it and it's really cute. Now we're just going to make a couple more and I just wanted to say everything's going to be linked in the description box. And the only hard thing I would say is, is getting the pliers and wrapping the wire around the little plier tip. Just try to, so when you put it there, you're going to put the wire on the very bottom of the wire, t of the plier tip, and then just start wrapping it circles and then pushing down on it to make it tighter. And then once you do that three or four times, just pull it up and you should have it pretty good. And if you think it needs to be tighter, just get the pliers and like kind of like tweezers, just push them together more. And then, yeah, and you could do this with any shape. I'm going to show you the shapes we did right now. They weren't the simple little just straight crystals. I did a, just a tumbled amethyst that I've actually just had in my room. 
So here's mine. I made sure it was really tight and then I intertwined it and yeah, it's just going to stay and I hope it does. And there's hers. She did a very intricate one. It's very pretty and it's really tight and secure. So then we're going to do another one. And here, just make sure you're wrapping it tight. You can kind of see my fingers pushing it all the way down. And then I finally got it. And now I'm doing a square lapis luzi. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> lapis lazuli. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how to pronounce it very well. But I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, I hope. I'll write it on the screen. Um, I'm making this into a necklace. I'm And I'm just wrapping it how I feel. I don't really try to do any designs I just do how I feel and each one comes out different and it's just really cute so I just make sure the wire is tight and you can use any string for the necklace you want you can use burlap if you would like you can use those little leather ones which I'll link in the description you can also use chains and I'll link those down too I'm pretty sure you could get everything on Amazon um I know I went to a couple craft stores, I went to Michael's and they have it as well, but I know a lot of you live in different places and that's amazing, so I'm going to see if Amazon, oh look that's super pretty, she just made that and it's super intricate and there's mine, they're both super pretty, hers are more intricate, she's been doing this longer and they're just really pretty, so here are all the ones we made, I'm going to link everything from Amazon in the description, you can use your own crystals and they're really fun to do, so she made the ones in the purple, and I made the ones with the blue, and they're just super cute. Okay, guys, so yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and go follow her uh, Earth Essence, right? Or do you want to show you Which one do you want? Wait, for what? For my for Instagram? Your, for your Instagram. We'll, we'll for your put show. it on the screen. I'll send it okay, to Okay, so this is her. Go follow her on Instagram. Go follow her and go support her little small business and go buy some stuff. Also, go subscribe buy... to my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, subscribe right to my YouTube channel. Well. We'll put or it, yeah. link in the description. I'll link it and put it here. Okay. Okay, so it's here and in the description box down below. So, yeah, go support her. We've been friends since, like, seventh grade, so it's really cool that we can, she taught me how to make things like this. And subscribe to this channel. Oh, yeah, channel. like and subscribe my video. Thank you guys so much for 477 subscribers. We hit 500 subscribers. I'm just laying in my bed, editing this video right now, and we hit 500 subscribers. I look crazy, but... Thank you guys so much. That's 500 new friends that I have, and that just means the world to me. You guys are so sweet, and I can't believe you guys enjoy my videos, and I can't wait to create more for you guys. I This video has been requested since I had, like, 40 subscribers, and I'm just so happy that I'm finally getting it out. And I I might film another one, to be honest, like, of us just doing it. Because, I don't know, just thank you guys so much. I want to cry. That's so sweet. And I'm so thankful. And I hope you guys really do enjoy my videos. And there's going to be so many more. Just keep requesting them and I'll totally, I'll follow through with your requests. Thank you guys so much. This means so much to me. I don't even know what to say. Thank you, guys. And, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And, yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye, guys.